I'm going to show you how a West Coast jewelry shop works, right? I got a shop on the East Coast, Ben Bowler got a shop on the West. I'm going to get straight down to business. To have the proper shop, you need a curated collection. You need somebody to pick out the best pieces, and this is what you have. You have the cream of the crop from 17 years of business of Ben doing this himself. Happens to be that that's what we do also on the East Coast. We make sure that we don't fill our jewelry store with junk, because junk and jewelry business costs money. Now let's jump to the back of the shop, see what's up. You've got your screw backs, nicely organized, Korean style, and guess who's screwing in his ear? Why, it's Ben. The tough thing about a jewelry store is you got to put millions of dollars in just to see a dollar out. That's a lot of inventory. And then you got to deal with thieves. I found this guy on the thief wall. He ran off with some jewelry. Luckily, he got caught. From New York to Los Angeles, there's no shortcuts in life. And that's why this guy has thief written in red and caught written in green. That's what you got to deal with as a business owner, though. Nothing you can do about it. Back on the thief wall you go, buddy. Two jewelers, two cities, one continent, and one industry. And that's how business is done.